parents are with their babies all the time and they're watching them, but it's hard for them to really understand the minute details of what might be changing moment to moment or day to day or even week to week or month to month in their baby's minds. We know from lots and lots of research across all different areas of cognition, perception, uh, social development, how much information babies are just naturally taking in from the world around them. So they are paying attention to so many things and actually learning from them constantly. So we were interested in the question of when infants come to understand the preferences of others. And to start, we wanted to look at whether they could use consistency in people's preferences as a cue to what their true preference was. So infants in our study, when they came into the lab, they would sit in, on their parents' lap in front of a puppet show stage. Behind this curtain was either one or two actors that were going to be showing their preferences. And there were two toys set up on the stage. The curtain would be raised, a person sitting behind the stage would slowly reach out and grasp one of the objects. And she would remain grasping that object until the curtain then closed. And infants would see this happen four times in a row, so that was a consistent preference. Different infants would see a person reach three times for one toy and one time for the other toy, so that was an inconsistent preference within that same person. Or they would see this happen between two people. So they would see one person be consistent within themselves and a different person be inconsistent by reaching for the other toy. When babies were then asked um, in the way that we asked them using our methods, which was the object of that agent's preference, the main agent, it didn't matter that they had seen this intervention of another person coming in and reaching for uh, something else. They still were able to show what they thought was the original experimenter's consistent preference. So three versus one reach wasn't the problem. It was seeing that one experimenter only reach ever for the same object. So it really seems like there's something about the consistency in the way the person um, was acting that gave the baby sufficient capacity to think that that object was the object of the preference. So they're learning from the way people are behaving around them, they're learning from the way objects are behaving around them, and uh, they're learning from the combination, how, how people are behaving on those objects. Thank you.